Notebook LM has just been upgraded with incredible new features, making learning and research easier than ever before. You can now just type in the topic that you're interested in, and the AI will find all relevant articles and YouTube videos on it for you. Then you can interact with that content, like turn it into a clickable mind map to organize what you're learning, or even turn it into a customizable podcast you can listen to while you're hitting the gym. And if you're not using this tool yet, seriously, what are you doing? It is still completely free to use. And now Google has made the plus features free as well for anyone with a workspace account. So you can automate a ton of repetitive tasks without having to waste your money. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use the upgraded Notebook LM to save yourself hours every single day. And we'll also get into the plus features that will make your team more efficient than ever before. Let's get right into it. If you've never used Notebook LM before, it's an extremely powerful AI tool that allows you to create notebooks for each topic you're looking into. So the first thing you'll see when you go to Notebook LM is the library of these notebooks. I have several ones right here for the topics I'm studying and researching right now, like learning Python 101 or how to grow on YouTube. For example, if you want to learn how to use Google Ads in 2025, you'll need to add a notebook for that. To do this, just click create new right here. And the first thing you'll see is the add sources window, which will prompt you to add your knowledge base in form of websites, YouTube videos, and files. Notebook LM will use these sources to give you answers in the future. You can either add your sources manually or use the exciting new feature, discover sources and let AI find the materials for you. So I'm just going to click that and you'll see that you can either just enter the topic you are interested in or click the I'm feeling curious button and the AI will freestyle the topic for you to study. I'm just going to be serious though and enter mine, which is going to be Google Ads Strategy in 2025 and hit submit. I suggest you make your query very specific because it will only search for limited sources at a time. As you can see here, it only gave me a few ones. Now, when you're happy with what it found, just hit import and your sources will get added to your notebook here on the left. Once your base is ready, you can always add more sources by clicking on this button right here to add something specific. Say you came across an article and you'd like to include it, or you can use the upload sources button right here, which again is going to use AI to find the materials for you. Let's say I want to add Google Ads pricing to our knowledge base. So I'm just going to click upload sources, ask AI to find them, submit, and I'm ready to import them into our notebook. You can also ask AI to look up specific courses and tutorials for you. So let's ask it to find Google Ads tutorials for beginners, and it will search that up as well and find relevant YouTube videos on it for you. If a source gets stuck right here in red and you really want it in your notebook, you can just open up that page copy the content and add it as a text source here. And if it's a video, you can do something similar. Just hit the transcribe button here on YouTube. Also copy the text and paste it in as a text source. Once all our sources are added, there are a ton of things we can do with this content. Let's go over all of them. You'll see here that a notebook has several sections inside it. You've got your sources on the left. You can either have AI analyze all of them at once or pick a couple like only a specific tutorial or only the pricing articles. In the center, you've got your chatbot section. This is where you can ask AI anything about your sources or use one of the presets. First, I'd like to show you the new feature mind map that will make your learning more structured and visual. So pick the content you want AI to analyze on the left. I'd like it to only go over this five hour tutorial here and then just hit to create a mind map. And here's our tutorial content well organized. We've got our main topics right here, which is the Google Ads course, and then the subtopics inside it like Google Ads platform, keywords and adverts. Now to go over a specific topic, all you need to do is either click on it directly and you'll see that the chat will start working to create an overview about it for you. Or you can click on the arrowhead next to it and even more specific subtopics will pop up. Let's go over the keywords, for example. I'm just going to hit the arrow next to it and here's what we need to go over inside this topic. Let's say I want to learn about the keyword planner tools first. I'm going to click that and as you can see, our chat starts working already, explaining this topic. 
And here's the final answer we got, very detailed and nicely laid out. It is important to know that the chats don't get saved here. So if this information is useful to you, make sure to scroll down and save it as a note here. This way you won't lose it. You can also just ask AI anything in the chat here, like tell me more about Google ads pricing. And it starts going over our sources and gives us this lovely answer with annotations. If you click on one of them, it will send you directly to the specific article or video it got this information from. Inside the source, you'll see the link to that page, a nice summary. And if it's a video, you can even watch it directly here and check out the full transcript below. Next, we've got our audio overview section where you can generate a human sounding podcast that will go over your topic. If you'd like the host to focus on something specific during the overview, you can hit the customize button right here and just enter what you want. I'm going to say, focus on best strategies, pricing and how to set it up. And now I'm just going to hit generate. And now it's going to create a custom podcast that focuses on these points I've just entered. A few moments later, our podcast is ready. Let's go ahead and listen to a part of it. We're diving into the best strategies you can use, how the pricing actually works in practice, and you know the crucial steps to get your initial campaigns set up correctly. Okay. Now, this is great, but you can also ask questions in real time while you're listening to this. For this, just hit the interactive mode right here. Then you're just going to click play. And when you have a question, just hit join and just ask away. Want to share your thoughts on this? Yes, I'd like it to get straight into the pricing because this is what I'm most interested in. It sounds like you're really focused on understanding the costs involved. Absolutely, and that makes perfect sense. It's a vital part of the equation. So to recap briefly, we've established that you generally pay per click. And the typical costs can range quite a bit. Now, if you'd like to regenerate the audio overview, perhaps you added more sources or would like it to focus on something different now, you're just going to click on the three dots right here and you're going to have to click the delete button and then you can regenerate the podcast again. You'll also see several options right here, like to download it. I usually go straight to Notebook Alarm website with my phone and just play it from there. But it's nice to have this option in case you have an older phone. You'll also see the playback speed button. It's also pretty useful if you'd like the audio to be played a little bit slower or faster. I find that there are quite a few pauses, so I usually play it at like 1.5. Lastly, we've got our notes section right here. This is where all information you save or generate will go. We've already got a mind map here and a couple of the answers I've saved from the chat before. There are several things you can do in the notes section. Let's go over all of them. Firstly, you can add your own notes here. This is perfect in case you want to write something down without having to leave the app. For example, you could point out what you've learned today or where you left off, or even just write your final essay or paper here, why not? You can customize the note, like format the text, add a title, and once you've finished, you could also convert it to source if you'd like AI to analyze it as well. Next, we've got more presets here like the mind map. The first one is the study guide that will generate a bunch of quizzes and a list of key terms for you. This would be great if you're studying for something like a test or an exam. Then you've got your briefing doc that will structure and briefly go over your content. I'm going to choose just the five hour tutorial we were talking about earlier. And now the briefing doc is going to go over the main points of this specific video. Next, there's the FAQ option that will generate the most important questions and answers. Again, this would be great if you're studying for a test. And lastly, we've got the timeline, which really isn't applicable in this example. So let me show you another notebook I've just created on all the presidents of the USA. And if we click timeline here, it'll organize all the presidents by centuries and their years in office. So timeline is great if you're studying something like history or any other type specific subject. So now that you know the basic, I'd like to show you some of the notebooks I've already created so you can kind of get an idea on how to use this tool. First, I created this notebook to learn the periodic table. I asked AI to find sources for me and it automatically found strategies for me to memorize it. Like I should first learn the first 20 elements. So then I went on and asked AI to find sources that list all the elements in the table. I just picked these sources and created a mind map of them 
And now I have this lovely map of all the 118 elements. I can click on them one by one and have AI explain each one to me. Let's click on hydrogen first, for example. And here's a summary of the element. I can study it up and add all elements I've learned here as notes. And tomorrow, just get back here and review them. Here's another notebook I've just created to research how to open an LLC in the US as a non-resident. Again, AI found all sources for me and didn't have to lift a finger. Then I went on and generated this podcast. I asked it to only go over the most important details, like the list of documents, how to get them and the cost. And now I'm going to listen to this podcast in the interactive mode so I can ask it questions in real time as I would a lawyer. So you've mentioned I need to pick a unique name for my business. How would I go about checking if it's available in the state I've picked? Exactly. Now, the best way to check name availability is to head directly to the source. Okay. Each state has its own database of registered business names. Gotcha. You'll want to look for the website of the Secretary of State in the state where you plan to form your LLC. So now you know exactly how to use the upgraded Notebook LM, let's get into the plus features and automate all of your repetitive tasks at work. As I've already mentioned, Notebook LM plus features are now free to anyone with a Workspace account. I pay like 12 bucks a month and I already get Google Workspace with two terabytes of storage, plus Gemini advanced subscription completely for free and now also Notebook LM plus subscription. So talk about value for money. So if you love workspace and AI, you're going to love this. So let's see what Notebook LM plus allows you to do. Firstly, you can create a huge library of notebooks. We get about five times as many notebooks on the plus plan. So you can create a notebook for any task you're doing right now. Secondly, you can upload up to 300 sources per notebook compared to 50 on the free plan. So you can literally upload your whole documentation, support docs, internal wikis without you having to split them into parts. Then you can also customize how your AI responds in the chat and adjust the response length. This is perfect for creating your personalized chatbots for tasks like sales and customer support. And finally, you can easily collaborate with your team on the same notebooks by just sharing them and then viewing analytics to see how everyone's doing. So how do you actually use it in practice? Well, honestly, it would work with any tasks that would require processing and then outputting information. But here are just three categories I've come up with to help you understand how it works. First, you can use it to create AI agents to automate tasks for you. Let's say you need a customer support agent just upload all of your support articles, then customize how AI responds, like make it sound like a polite and helpful support rep. And once that's set up, you can just send in your customer requests and the AI will draft all responses for you. Second, you can turn a notebook into interactive knowledge base for your team. Just upload all of your documentation and next time someone has a question, they can just ask AI about it without having to bug someone or dig through documentation for hours. This would be super useful for tasks like onboarding and training. And finally, you can use it to collaborate and plan as a team. Everyone could just jump into the same notebook, add their notes and ideas, and then you can turn all of it into a mind map or a timeline. So no more random notes everywhere. This would be perfect for something like preparing for an important meeting or planning an event. Now you can get really creative here and automate a ton of tasks, but let me show you just one example of how you can use it in practice. I'm going to create an AI agent that will respond to all of our troubleshooting emails. The first thing I need to do is of course to upload all of our documentation and support articles as sources here. This will be our knowledge base. Then I'm just going to click on this icon right here to configure our chat and customize how AI responds. In the conversation style here, I'm just going to click custom and write something like, you're a customer support specialist, reply in a friendly, polite and helpful tone. Your response should look like an email. And that's it. All that's left for us to do now is just send in my customer support requests and the AI will do all the work for me. Did you know that Gemini Advanced is now also free for anyone with a Workspace account? So you should really check out my previous video I made about Gemini and Workspace features. This will really help you automate your workflow. 
So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. This will really help this channel grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.